Dean Bruckle, Friday Night Lights 2011. Game 11, by district, PNG versus Dayton, played at the Thomas Center in Beaumont, Texas. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights is produced by Toots Graphics. Toots Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination. Port Nature's Groves gets the opening kickoff. They drive down the field. They face a second and long with the quarterback sack, setting up third and long for the PNG Indians. Facing third and long, the PNG quarterback takes the snap, goes back three steps, latches one down the field and connects with number four, who races into the end zone for a PNG touchdown. The extra point is good. The Indians go up on the Broncos, seven to nothing. With 9.23 left in the first quarter. The Indians force the Broncos to punt on their first possession. They get the ball, and on the first play, Logan Sullivan intercepts the pass. The Broncos take over. The Broncos move the ball down the field after the interception. On the fifth play of the drive, Herrera throws it in and connects with Marquee Chambers, who scores the tying touchdown. Caranco scores the first of his many points tonight and ties the game at 7-7. 7-7, 501 to go, first quarter play. PNG gets the ball back, and on second down, the PNG quarterback goes back for a pass, but is sacked by the Dayton defense. After an incomplete pass on third down, the Indians puck to the Broncos. Ryan McBride catches the ball and runs to his left. He gets through and gets around the gate. McBride races down the field, cuts back and rambles all the way down inside the 20 yard line. But a penalty pulls the ball back. The Broncos move the ball to the 25 yard line, but the drive stalls. Caraco comes in and sails the ball through the uprights. The Broncos take the lead with the 42 yard Caraco field goal. The score is now Broncos 10, Indians seven. The Indians waste little time from behind. After getting a first down on three running plays, the quarterback goes out, launches the ball down the field, and connects again. The Indians have the ball down in Bronco territory. The Indians are unable to get a first down after the pass completion. The field goal kicker comes in and connects. The game is tied as the second quarter begins. The score is now Indians 10, Broncos 10. The Broncos get the ball and methodically move down the field. This screen pass to Ryan McBride moves the ball inside the 30-yard line. Three plays later, the Broncos have it first to goal. Andreas cuts inside and crosses the goal line. The Broncos go up 16 to 10. Caraco, the ultimate Bronco field goal weapon, comes in and connects on another point after. The Broncos now lead the Indians 17 to 10. The Indians don't like playing from behind after the kickoff. On the first play, the quarterback goes to back and connects with number four. He breaks through the Dayton defensive secondary and he could go all the way for a PNG touchdown. The extra point sells to the uprights. The score is now 17 to 17. The PNG defense forces the Dayton Broncos back in field position. They get a punt with excellent field position. And five plays later, 12 connects with number four for another PNG touchdown. The extra point is good. 
The first half scoring ends with the Indians up 24 to 17. The Broncos receive the opening third quarter kickoff. They get a couple of first downs and are driving down the field when Herrera connects with a wide open McBride who brings the ball inside the PNG 20. Two plays later, Herrera takes a snap, looks to his left, but goes back to his right, finds McBride. McBride runs down the right sideline and hurdles his way into the end zone. The Broncos score the first touchdown in the second half. Caranco comes in and sails the ball through the uprights and clocks the scoreboard. The score is now tied at 24 all. The Indians get a couple of first downs after receiving the kickoff. Number 12 goes back and finds 26 on the crossing ground. He rambles down into Bronco territory. Three plays later, number 26 takes the snap, runs to his right and crosses the goal line. The Indians score and go ahead of the Broncos, 30 to 24. The extra point sails through the uprights. The score is now Indians 31, Broncos 24. The Broncos get the ball after the kickoff. Andreas goes back, puff fakes to his right. Throws the ball down the field and connects with Armando Reyes. The Broncos have the ball in PNG territory. The Broncos are unable to get a first down from the 31 yard line. Caraco comes in and crushes the field goal through the uprights. Caraco connects on a 48 yard field goal. The score is now 27 Broncos, Indians 31. The Indians get the ball after the kickoff. They move down the field, get three first downs, but the pitch is fumbled. The ball's on the ground and the Broncos recover the ball. After the fumble, the fourth quarter starts. Andreas takes the snap on third and long. He races to his left, cuts back, and gets a Bronco first down and moves the ball inside the 20 yard line. The Broncos lose yardage to the 24 yard line. The Indian defense defense. Caraco comes in, the field goal is good! Caraco kicks connects on a 41 yard field goal. The Indians now only lead 31 to 30. After an excellent kickoff return, the Indians have the ball in excellent field position, but the running back is stuffed on first down. On second down, the Indian quarterback goes back, throws the ball down the field, but overshoots his receiver. On third and long, the quarterback takes the snap, runs back, he's pressured and he's sacked by the Bronco defense, forcing a three and out. The Indians are forced to punt the ball. The Indian punter takes the snap, booms the ball down the field, but unfortunately it's straight to Jamal Feller. He crosses to the right, he has a lane, Jamal's running down the sideline, jumps over an Indian, but steps out of bounds. Unfortunately, a block in the back moves the ball back inside the 20 yard line. Herrera connects on several passes that moves the Broncos down the field into Indian territory. This run by Herrera who cuts through, runs down for 20 yards and moves the Broncos close to the 20 yard line. The Broncos move the ball down to the 16 yard line but are stopped by the Indian defense and Caraco comes through and connects on a field goal. The Broncos take the lead 33 to 31 with six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Indians get the ball after the field goal. They're down by two points. On first down, an incomplete pass sets up second and 10. On second down, they try quarterback draw, but it's only good for about two yards. The Indians now face third and eight. The quarterback takes a snap. He's gonna throw it. He's pressured and can't step into the throw and the ball falls incomplete, forcing a PNG punt. 
The punt sails down the field and rolls down inside the Bronco 20. The Broncos methodically move the ball toward midfield. Herrera takes the ball, throws it down the field, and connects with Jamal. A horse collar tackle adds 15 yards to the play. The Broncos stall out at the 22-yard line, but drain valuable clock away from the Indians. Caraco comes in and splits the uprights on a 39-yard field goal. With just two minutes and 24 seconds left, the Broncos go up 36 to 31, and the Indians only have one timeout left. The Indians use their last timeout on their way down the field. They get the ball inside the Bronco 40. The quarterback throws it to the end zone, but it's intercepted by Jamal Fowler. The Indians are unable to stop the clock. The Broncos are going to win the game. They win by district yet again, and the Bronco fans rejoice. The Broncos go into victory formation and drain the clock. They face a third down. Herrera gets the ball, runs around the quarter, and that's it. The last play of the game. The Broncos win in by district again. In other by district action, the Needling Bulldogs beat the Goose Creek Memorial Patriots 24 to 6. Batter beat Crosby 42 to 20. And Ozan shot Barbers Hill winning 40 to 36. Bronco Friday Night Lights has been produced by Toops Graphics. Toops Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination. <laughs>